Hey guys, so we're just going to take you through the whole foam rolling process. You notice we got quite a bit of gear out here. So we have the soft foam roller, which most people or some people use. A little bit harder, the PVC with the, um, basically it's a yoga mat around it to keep it a little softer. And then we go straight PVC if you need to get, or if you're able to get right into the muscle a little bit more. Remember, it's not supposed to be super painful. It's supposed to be enough that you feel it, but not too painful. But don't go to this one if it's too easy. We also have a lacrosse ball to get into more acute spots that the roller can't get into. And we have the peanut, which is basically two lacrosse balls with tape or many, uh, there's many options out there that you could buy already prefab. This is to use for the T-spine to get a little more T-spine mobility. So Leia's gonna use this one for today. She's gonna get down. So we're gonna take you through the sequence. Usually we go calves and then the butt and the lats. So you notice that Leia is also getting different angles at her leg. So she's starting with her foot straight and she'll roll that a few times, let's say five times, and then she'll turn her toe in to get inside and then she'll turn the foot out, the same thing, and she'll repeat it on both legs. From the calves, we skip the hamstrings most of the time and we can get into that or you can contact us and find out why we do that. And we go straight to the buttocks. So again, she's gonna look for hot spots. When you do find hot spots, you're just gonna find that one spot and just roll over it back and forth a little bit. So you notice that she changes the angle of the knee. Sometimes she's turning it down to the floor. Sometimes she's coming a little bit upright just to move through different areas of her glutes to find those hot spots. So again, she would do both sides. Then she, from there, she'd move to her lats. Starting from the armpit. Very important to get very high up. Don't forget, a lot of people forget that the lats come up in front, so just stopping right here is not enough. You want to get all the way up there. Uh, Leah, you want to show them the QL also? So we're going to move down, turn a little bit back, turn back a bit, and there she's going to roll up just a little bit there to quadratus lumborum, get that a little bit, and that gets jacked up with a lot of people also. We're going to move to the front, and we're going to start low down. She's going to do the tib anterior. Remember, we're not rolling directly on the shin bone. She's turning a bit to the side to get this tib anterior muscle, okay? She's gonna go back and forth there. From there, she's gonna go to the quad muscle. So again, we're coming right down the middle to get that rectus femoris. She's gonna turn maybe at 45 degrees to get the vastus lateralis. And notice that, slow it down there. She's gonna go all the way up to the top to try to get that TFL. Let's get in the habit of walking the hands forward and walking the hands back. This way we keep the same angle all the time. Okay, and she'll come up. Now one thing we see often is people turning right on the side. Okay, but what we wanna stay away from is getting the IT band. The IT band, ITB band, IT band, iliotibial band, it's a ligament. So we don't wanna roll that ligament because ligaments are not made to be overly stretched. So we're gonna go right here at 45 degrees. We'll go right down the middle. We can do the adductor after and we can go in the back, but we stay off that IT band. For people that, that coming on all on one leg is too difficult, you can put one foot on the floor and just guide yourself up and down. Show them the adductor layup, please. So we keep that knee up, we go all the way into the groin and come right back to the knee, and we're gonna go back and forth again. All this is done bilaterally, so we're gonna work it out on both sides maybe rolling five to 10 times each side. If you find a hot spot, stay on it, try to roll it, but don't overdo it. Again, it's not supposed to be super painful. We're gonna move to the T-spine now. And basically, she's gonna take this. I'm gonna get around here. We're gonna start about right here. The slot in the middle here, basically, is where the vertebrae goes, where your spine's gonna go. Okay, sorry. And we're gonna start about right here. She's gonna lay down. We're gonna bend the knees, she's gonna place the hands on the forehead. So keep trying to keep the ribs down. She's gonna come up, do three crunches, always staying on the ball, always going all the way back down. And notice she's keeping her chin tucked, she's not opening up. So basically we're just trying to grab the little spots on that dura and stretch it out to try to give you a little more T-spine extension or T-spine mobility. Move down, Leah. She's gonna move down, maybe an inch and a half. And continue, she's gonna go right up until she gets almost to the base of the neck and then she's gonna stop right there. So guys, use all the tools, get some good fascial mobility, for lack of a better word, T-spine mobility. If you have any questions, feel free to call us.